Hey guys, in this video I want to talk to you about masculine and feminine energy. Now, the easiest way I explain this to um, my male clients is your masculine energy is very much in the mind. It is the action, it is the drive, it is the, I guess, the, the thinking process of the masculine that gets stuff done. And the feminine energy is very much in the heart. And it is around the empathy and the compassion and the calm and being present for people. Now, men in particular, just the way we grew up and the programming and the upbringing of that, that, that we got from the generations before us, our great grandparents, our grandparents, our parents and the like, is that men are not really supposed to be in their feminine. They're supposed to be all masculine. They're supposed to just take action. They're supposed to go and um, create, provide, protect, and bring home the money to support the family. Now that may have been true a hundred years ago, but it's not the world that we live in now. And a lot of men are stuck in this conflict of being too over masculine. And then they get, they feel like there is a lot of judgment and ridicule on them around masculinity, toxic masculinity, and what really masculine energy means in this world. And they're confused because they only know one way. They only, they have a view of the world around what it is to be masculine, to be a man. And typically, if you're like myself, when you grow up, it's just like, be hard, show no weakness, don't complain, don't whinge, and do not be vulnerable. Like, that is something that was just not allowed, right? Being vulnerable is just being a weak, and vulnerability is weakness. This is the programming, but it's not true. Vulnerability is strength if you use it as strength, not as a victim, but as a survivor. Let me talk about the feminine energy and the reason why it's so important, especially for men, to be able to tap into this feminine energy. It's because it's your intuition. It is your intuitive self. Your heart is the gateway to your spiritual aspects. And if you are over-consumed in your mind and you are over-consumed in egoic thoughts, processes, control systems, lack of fear and the like and you are over masculine and you're trying to control everything you're trying to fix everything you're trying to over analyze everything you're trying to you're trying to think everything into a solution all you're doing is disconnecting yourself from your own intuition and when your mind gets so noisy it's actually really hard to listen to your intuition so we need to calm the mind we need to heal the mind we need to allow to let go of all the old programs all the old paradigms, all of the boxes that we created, all of the suppressed emotions, all of the belief systems that were ingrained into us as a male in this world. And we need to give ourselves permission to let go, forgive, come into our heart space and just slow down, relax, calm down and be present and connected and compassionate and empathetic, empathetic and think about other people. This is key to evolution. This is key to emotional intelligence, to emotional evolution, is to be able to balance the masculine and the feminine. So if you are very over energy in your mind, if you're constantly stuck in your mind, your mind overthinks, you overanalyze, your mind is always quite stressed and you're tense and your emotions, you can be triggered so easily. This is all mental health. This is a journey that you need to take seriously. This is an area of your life that you need to invest in because you need to come into this place here. If you want to improve your relationships, your business, if you want to be happy, if you want to love yourself and not sabotage and, and have bad habits and, and sacrifice and, and stress yourself out, you need to come into your heart space. This is key. This is key for masculine evolution and men have been programmed to not bring this up, to not talk about it. But I'm sorry, you have to. You have to. This is the time where you need to speak up and be congruent around how you feel on the inside versus how you're showing up on the outside. If you want to talk to me about balancing out your masculine and feminine, then please send me a DM. Otherwise, you can follow any of my other content as I share so much more insights into what it takes to balance your masculine and feminine and really live the life that you truly want to live. Thanks for tuning in.